Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have two special people with us. Now, they're nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Art and Photography. Now, for Art, I have Ken Wadiobo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Welcome and from, uh, for Photography, we have Dami Onofua. Yeah, Onofua. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. joining us. Thank First you. of all, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Let's, I, I really want to... I remember the moment I saw a nomination letter. So I want you to recount both your experiences. <laughs> what point did you see your nomination letter? What were you doing? No matter how weird, you have to confess. <laughs> and then you have to tell us a reaction. <laughs> well, well, basically, I was working because I work every day, day and night. So I was working and I got, I got um, an email, but I, di I didn't look at it. I just felt random email, so I just kept working. And then I got a call and said, and the call said, have you seen the email that was sent? So I'm like, how? And it was like, you got nominated for Future Awards. And I was like, what? Because I know Future Awards to be, you know, the thing. Yeah, but so I just immediately stopped what I was doing, went to the email, and I was, I was blown away. I was really blown away. Oh, dear. Congratulations. <laughs> I like okay. hearing people's nomination stories yeah. because people have like the weirdest stories no, to tell you. Like, oh, I was cooking and I got this email. <laughs> so I was hoping to hear one weird story like that. Let's yeah. hear yours, David. Well, uh, I was invited for a, to an event to speak. And then while I was waiting my turn, I got the email and then it took... <laughs> I, I, I almost screamed. How did you not like, comfort that, yourself? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank now, you. the Future Awards is like one of the biggest award Africa award prizes in Africa. Yeah. Every young person, you know, looks forward to having been nominated or winning a Future Award at least once in their lifetime. Let's look at your work, the history of your work. Some people started, you know, just within a year and they got nominated. Some have been working on the ground for years and nobody saw their work. And all of a sudden, the Future Award Africa came and noticed. So let's look at the history of the work you've been doing. Let's start with you, Dami. Uh, well, uh, my work, I would say it's, it's been a process. So I've been working for like three to four years professionally as a photographer. And then at the beginning, it was like I didn't know what I was doing. I was just moving from one pitfall to another pitfall but then I, I didn't stop working I just kept working at what I what I was doing I felt like and then I, 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 I understood the fact that life is a process it's something that you don't stop so I just kept doing it I didn't even think that I, I was I don't even think that I'm there yet why photography do like there are many things to do we have a very saturated yeah. photography industry yeah why did you choose photography uh, I chose photography because it's the only way that I ever understood the world images I never understood numbers that much. I never passed <laughs> mathematics. Yeah, and then for words, whenever I read words or write words, I see the pictures. Like, it's so freaking clear. And then uh, the only time that I ever passed mathematics was when I had a maths teacher who explained in pictures. Wow. Yeah, who, 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 who paints like a picture of the actual thing that yeah. was happening. That was the only time the I ever saw. Yeah. So I, I, I felt like, okay, if... This is the way I understand the world. If I would tell somebody stories, then I should use that same way to tell them. If I can understand it, I feel like other people can understand it. Wow, brilliant. Wow. So we're going to hear your story. I think that's so profound for teachers more especially. Yeah. Yeah. Understanding the learning language of, language a, child of a child yeah. and then interpreting that. You probably would never have passed maths yeah. if that teacher didn't come to come your to, language, yeah. Yeah. speak your language rather, come yeah. to your level and speak your True. language. So that is profound and I'm hoping that teachers are taking note. Yeah. Let's hear your story as well. well your I, journey I, so far. I didn't have a teacher to teach me in art. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yes, I loved art so much growing up. But I was studying civil and environmental engineering. I'm a graduate now. Um, you know, it's weird to see a civil engineer eventually go into art when he did not fail. You understand? And, you know, people kept asking me, like, how? How did it happen? I was, it is weird. I, I was in school and, you know, the everyday midnight reading towards an exam. And, you know, I was sketching something on my book. I don't read. I was, at that time I was sketching, I was very enthusiastic about how to sketch a lecturer, funny, start the book and laugh. And then somebody was like, take this, take this to the next level, like just open a business, we're doing client works, right? And then at the same time, the same night, somebody said, oh, this, this person joined the Dean of Union like at that time, come and see it. And I saw it and I knew that, nah, that there, there was more to art than just sketching my lecturers funny, in a funny way. And I said, okay, you know what, let me start reading about art and understanding art. 
and in that way, I just got really into art completely. That I forgot, I, I, I did not care about any other thing. I didn't care about whether you know my dad was looking at me somewhere saying you need to finish civil engineering. Or I didn't care about any other thing. I just wanted to do art. So I started um, five years ago when I was in my year one in Unilag. I'm um, year two in Unilag. Then obviously, then this is five years later and. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. So basically, since you've started art and this far that you've come, mm. I want to ask you, how has it affected your feeling as a person, mm. one? And how do you think your family sees you now that you do this, talking about what you said about your dad? Yeah, and basically, it's, it's, it's a very interesting and inspiring thing because people do, people go into some kind of studies or some kind of... Um, courses right because they want to appeal to some certain kind of society or their family's intuition of how you know they want to see them as an engineer as a lawyer as a banker as a doctor do you understand and you know there is nothing as amazing and as beautiful as doing what you want to do you know it it, it, it cost me a lot it cost me a, a lot of people saying you don't know what you're doing it cost me a lot of my friends going on my back, you know, it cost me a lot of law lecturers going behind me, but you know, there was not nothing could beat that feeling. You know, it it it's something soothing, it's something that you want to keep doing. You something you want to be happy always. And anything that makes you happy is what you should keep doing. So art was that thing for me. And you know, regardless of anything, I wanted to be happy. I didn't want to do anything but just be happy. And five years later, you know. I could, at, I, you know, I've achieved more than I could ever have achieved if I was a civil engineer. All right, we'll come back and have this conversation. Yeah. You know? And I think this is something really inspiring because there are many people who want to chase after their dreams, but they're not doing so because they're thinking, what will people say? Yeah. How will people react? You need to stop it. We'll come back and when we come back, we'll still be speaking some more with Dami and Ken, nominees of the Future Awards Africa Prize for Art and Photography. Please don't go away. Special when you tell me so much love and peace to go around So much love for the whole world On a beautiful day You're watching Hello Nigeria You're watching Hello Nigeria Don't touch the dial Hello Nigeria Sit back and relax. 20 categories, 100 nominees, and we're privileged to have two of them on our sets, Dami and Ken, who are nominated for a Future Award Africa Prize for photography and art respectively thank you so much for joining us thank you, so much. you were sharing with us before we went on a break your journey yeah. so far and how it's been in the past five mm -hmm. years now looking back you're, you're glad that you're not where you used to be yeah yeah so um basically it is it, another, another thing is you know art is art is life you know pe people people do not understand art until you have in a way done art right art is life and it's so beautiful that you know i i feel People that do not understand exactly what it is are missing out. What really? Missing. What would you say is the future of arts in Nigeria? Back in the day, oh, I don't think yeah. it was such a trendy it was, thing. It was not now a trendy thing. Now everybody's thinking it's yeah. fashionable to go for one art. Five years ago, yeah. if you say you want to be an artist, people would imagine the roadside yeah. artists, you painting on the road, you trying to sell a and portrait. They were not really yeah. rich people. They are not really yeah. rich people. Do you understand? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> so it, 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 it was. There's been, there's been so many organizations that's come up, so many things that's come up, and it has, in a way, built the art industry to one strong in Nigeria. And there's future because it's growing, right? The, 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 the Western world, they are looking into the Nigerian art industry, who is the big guys in the Nigerian art world, you know, the, 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 the um, big um, news stations in the world are coming to Nigerian arts. You know, people are paying attention now, which is really good if you're an artist in this generation and yeah. in this time of the of Nigeria. It is really, really good. And it's really, it, it, uh, I would say something, it is very, very, um, it is financially great and strong. Mm. Oh, yeah. So it's lucrative, basically. Yeah, it's it is. amazing. So, Dami, for you, I want to ask you, yeah. who are your mentors or 
those you actually look up to in photography internationally okay. and locally? Okay. Uh, well, I, I have a wide range of, a range of mentors, but I, I, I would only talk about few of them that really, that their impact is really strong on my work. And then I think one of them, I will start with the international photographers. Uh, his name is Steve McCurry. Steve McCurry is a master, is somebody that I look up to. I read his books, I see his images, and then it gets, it gets me weeping sometimes because, oh. because of how much he speaks to me. And then um, that would be where I stop internationally for now. There's a, there's a wide range of them, <laughs> but I, I, like I said, I, I would only mention the strongest ones. And then in Nigeria, I have a few people. Some of them, I'm fortunate to have learned under them, to have become friends with them. And then they go from the likes of Tom Sata. They go from Bayo Moboriowo. Uh, we have uh, Andrew Siebo. These people are, are, have been, George Oshodi, these people have been privileged to listen to, work under them, learn under them, and, and a number of things, yeah. So I, I, I feel like... And I'm wondering what area of photography you have, because different people, some would tell you they're wedding photographers, portrait photographers, so what area, what's your call focus? I'm a storyteller. I'm a documentary photographer. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's lovely. That's, <laughs> that's the kind of photography that I do. I feel like the world has so much stories, and then it takes people like us to say, to say like, for instance, stories in Africa, for instance, uh, in the past, we're told by foreigners, people who didn't really know us. But now we have people standing up and telling our own stories. We're telling, uh, we're, we're, we're going beyond stereotypes. We're asking people, don't define us anymore. We're going to define ourselves. We're going to tell our own stories. Before, uh, big news agencies internationally would send in white guys to come and shoot African stories. Now we're seeing a shift in that. We have agencies abroad hiring Nigerian photographers to tell Nigerian stories. I and mean, African photographers tell African stories, so it's 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 that way. We have so that that's why I chose that field of photography. I feel like I I have lived the story. Why can I not tell the story? So that's okay, Dami. I'm still going to ask you concerning the future awards. Yeah, I know you've actually been nominated. Yeah, how would you feel if you don't win? Because I know there are people who actually yeah. get nominated and they yeah. go like, I can't believe this didn't happen. <laughs> no, no, I mean, we had, a, we, we had a, an incident <laughs> like that. I don't <laughs> know, I was, you know, how would you feel if you don't win? I feel like already I'm a winner for being nominated in the first true, place. True. I didn't see it coming. I didn't lobby for it. I was just sitting somewhere thinking of what to say to a group of people when I got the email. So I feel like... Um, it's got to that point where I have come to understand that collaboration is more important than competition. Uh, the Future Award is really competitive. Everyone that has been nominated has done great things in the environment. Some of the people in my category are people that I respect. Some of them are my friends. Some of them are people that I look at their work and I'm like, how do you even think? Do you understand? So I feel like to have been nominated at all is a win. Indeed it is. And yeah. we know that the Future Award carries along its alumni, nominees and yeah, winners. They give true. everybody equal attention as yeah. well. So that's a fantastic mindset and I will take that away. Collaboration is more important than, than competition. competition. That's yeah. a fantastic mindset. Now, very quickly in a few seconds, yeah. each of you, your category has just been announced. You have just been announced winner. What's the first thought that pops in your head? Ah. What are the first <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing that comes to your mind, You've just been announced winner, Dami. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? I'll be in my nothing box. So, like, I didn't even see the box. Yeah, I didn't even see the nomination coming. So the winner would be like, ah, that was, that, yeah. All right, Ken, your turn. I don't know. <laughs> nothing box. It will, it it will be because the one is taking. The widow has collected. An award, yeah? Last year, last I think year. He, he won that as well. Yeah, he did. The most, the most outstanding young individual, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. If they do collect an award. Or for music, I'm not And I'm collecting sure. the same award in the same location and the same award On the show. same platform. On the same platform. Come on. Thanks. What we say? <laughs> like that. Like, 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 like you've actually made like. the to <laughs> prepare a winning speech. <laughs> an imaginary winning speech. <laughs> Is, but congratulations, thank you, you so are definitely thank you, thank winners. You, and it, it shows that in the whole of Nigeria, in the whole of Africa, because it's not just a prize, um, an award ceremony restricted to Nigerians. Yeah, it's for the whole yeah. of Africa. And your work was not, your work was recognized. I mean, yeah. you are uh, doing amazing. And we look forward to seeing all the amazing stuff that the thank future has so in much. store thank for you. you. Thank you so much.
Come the 16th of December, all roads lead to Balmoral Hall, where we have 20 categories, 100 nominees, and one stage. We can't wait to find out who all the nominees are and their winnings. And of course, we will be bringing you all the nominees from now leading up until the Future Awards and even after the Future Awards. How do we get to follow you individually? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, individually? Ken, um, you can go first. Yeah. Okay. To follow me individually. Your page yeah. or your oh, Okay, okay, yeah. Um, I have a website, um, www.kenwajebu.com. And all my Instagram, all my social media pages are at Ken Wajibu. All right. Yeah, because I, I, because art is basically personal, so you have to use your name. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 true for me as well. <laughs> my name is Damlola Onofua. So uh, my Instagram ID, I'm more active on Instagram than any other social media. So I'm Damlola Onofua on, on Instagram. I use Facebook too, and then I have a website, damlolaonofua.com. You can right. find some of my works there. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us, you both. Thank you. Thank, so you. Much. Thank, you, Thank so you for having us. To enjoy more of these our Ugunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.